Gabriel? Gabriel! Where are you? I don't want to remember this. Gabriel! Come back! Who's calling at this hour? I'm sorry, Philip, but you are under arrest for the murder of your daughter, Gabrielle. But, but I... Just come along. Now! For the heinous crime of murder, your own daughter, I sentence you to hang by the neck until dead. May God have mercy on your soul. I'm innocent. Go ahead and let him hang. Dear God, where? <laughs> hmm. He's alive. Alive! I... I have created life. There. Yeah. That will make you feel better. A toast. In celebration. I have made a man. <laughs> My hand. It's... Good God. It's the hand of a woman. What has this vile bastard done to me? You can stand and you're walking. No residual dizziness. Excellent. Can you hear me? Anything? Perhaps you can read lips. N no, no. You must be able to hear. Perhaps the cat's got your tongue. You've no idea how close to the truth that statement is. I... I remember I was hung, put to death, and now... in a laboratory? I'm an experiment. <laughs> of course. How fitting. This place thick with evil. This mad doctor. Unholy energies crackle from these diabolical contraptions. Surely they could not be of earthly origin. Energy, matter, life, everything we see, feel, touch, hear, taste is one of two things, mass or energy. Simple, yes? Do I know this man? He looks so familiar. Judge Rothenbush blaming me for the disappearance of children from other villages? That lying coward. I have created life, proving once again what I have always known to be true. Modesty be damned! I am a genius! I have uncovered a new material, an undiscovered element, number 86 on this periodic table. I call it Lifestone. As you see on this board, the energy spectrum contains a narrow band of energy which is the essence of life, energy L. 
It interacts with cells and tissue in ways I cannot yet explain, but you are evidence of its remarkable powers. Oh, yes. That is the reason you and I are having this conversation, Philip. The sole reason is because of Energy L. Well, to be specific, Energy L and the Lifestone Crystal, of course. Now, gently put it back on the shelf. Obviously, there's more to this crystal than the doctor wants me to know. I'll examine it again later, when he is more deeply into his work. Like a parachute. It's caught an updraft. It's going to go over the wall. I just hope, Philip, that you turn out better than the last experiment. The flesh grew so uncontrollably thick and twisted, like pork But You look confused. Actually, you look dazed, but dazed is good. It's still early for you, Philip. I have a theory. No, it is more. Energy moves, it flows like waves, mixing, shaping, affecting matter. Visible light is a particular energy wave, as is sound, electricity, and heat. Ergo, life itself is also an energy wave, a specific vibration. It is that simple. The mystery of life exposed. The servants have set up a room for you on the lower level. Please make yourself at home. A word of caution. Though you have had a serious concussion, to say the least, if you were to fall asleep, well, it would probably be <laughs> fatal. Of course, dying itself is not a problem, but the hemorrhaging, it could cause more damage to your brain. looks like a vastly improved version of that Russian scientist Tesla's lightning coil. locked. The frost has sealed the door shut. What? What is this? What could be the purpose?
Research, of course. That bastard. <coughs> Poor little kitten. Perhaps muscles could be attached to machinery to create. What am I thinking? Sick. This place is filled with things no man should ever see. A key. This room is so, so small, it's suffocating. It's as if I'm being watched. I see you've found a way into your bedroom. By the way, in case you don't remember, you were the victim of a hanging. The villagers fell upon you like a pack of hungry wolves, tearing you limb from limb. Not your lucky day. <laughs> Luckily, I had some spare parts that I used as replacements. After all, parts is parts. Thank God. If I steal the parts to do my own experiment, I could conduct it here away from the doctor and prove once and for all if Energy L is real or if I'm dead, trapped forever in this hell. Sick! This room reeks of human waste!
if I really am alive, and this isn't the afterlife, then maybe I could clear my name. But if I were stitched together and brought back from the dead, am I truly alive? That lifestone crystal is at the top of this tower. There must be a way to the top. Hmm, maybe if I had some way to secure the rope to the tree. I could probably get into that room by climbing out onto that limb, through to that window. Leftovers. I'm starving. Yes, this will certainly come in handy. Dead tissue. The meal was quite good. Too bad you missed it. Eat what's left. Dead tissue. Of course. Perhaps I could resurrect the tissue of the turkey lake.
This place seems safe from the prying eyes of that sick doctor. With this crystal, I can create life. The crystal is glowing. Excellent. What did I expect? Did I truly believe that a piece of food would spontaneously resurrect? I am a complete fool. It doesn't matter if I'm alive or if I'm dead. Nothing matters. I just want peace. So tired. I'm so hungry. It's over. I will not go on with this heinous nightmare. This turkey leg shall be my last. The meal of a condemned man. Me. Can I never die? Haven't I suffered enough? I truly am in hell. Wait! My food! My God. The mad doctor was right. He has truly mocked God and... and created life! But... that would mean... Oh my God! The doctor's notes! Surely I must escape before he finds out I have taken them! I must escape from this castle. But I'm a convicted murderer. If I leave this place I would be hunted like a dog! It seems someone, you most likely, has let the cat out of the bag. Or should I say, the thing out of the freezer. Your meddling must cease, or I will have to inject you with this potent sedative. So tired. Must keep exploring. Can't sleep or I may never wake. Now, Philip, I admire your curious nature and applaud your industriousness, but you have meddled in affairs that do not concern you. My notes are quite confidential. If you do not return them immediately, let me simply say that it was I who gave you life, and it is mine to take away. You have 
have taken advantage of my kind and generous nature. <laughs> and that is a grievous error on your part. No more delays. I want my nuts! This is the same energy spectrum in Frankenstein's lab. hold no worth for me. I must find a way to escape from this place. Another passageway. My work, damn it! Where are my notes?
Why, a block has risen out of the water. What sort of contraption is this? What is that thing? Oh my god! Is it attacking me? Go right! Philip, no, no leave! Don't, don't go! It's just a pathetic piece of flesh. I wonder, how dangerous is this creature? Friend, like, like me, like, like you. you. Gabriel, Gabriel, good. No hurt, hurt dirt. Left, left, left is, is right. right. Now, Philip, I've grown tired of this game you're playing. I want my notes, and I want them now! Right, right is, is the, the way. way. There must be something salvageable here to help me escape this place and leave Frankenstein's madness behind.
There is no escape from this place. Perhaps I should leave this here. Oh, Philip, I'm tired of being nice. If you don't take me to my notes, I'll put your brain in the head of a jackass! I'm sure this is the first place the doctor will come looking for me. Oh, the stench of nitric acid! So thick it burns my nostrils! Potassium nitrate. Glycerin. And sulfuric acid? A chemical explosion waiting to occur! It worked! Why was this door locked? Oh my god! It's you! Stay away from me! What a strange castle I happened upon! I wonder if anyone lives here! Those mad people won't find me in here! Oh my god! Not the axe! Please stop! Ah! Ah! This maze is so confusing! There's no escaping this castle! What a nice day! Hello, mister. Do you know where my daddy is? We 
Where are you taking me? My home is the other way. Mommy? Daddy? Where are you? Why am I alone? Mister? Are you taking me to my daddy? And please bless my mommy and daddy. Amen. Please, please stop. It hurts so bad. But why do you want to hurt me? But the lake is so beautiful. This castle is so dark and scary. Yes, I can feel the life leaving your body as I squeeze your neck. I love the feel of this great power. They'll never find me in this castle. Never! Ah! Slip that noose around my neck, will they? I'll show them. I'll return. Feel the blood as I puncture the skull, splashing against my face. The taste is so intoxicating. Look at him. My husband's so involved with his work. Hello. Hi, honey. I just came by to drop off some... Ah! It burns! The chemicals! This doctor, he's so strange. Yet there's something about him. I must make it to my tutoring. My studies are very important. Your joke has gone far enough. It is obvious that you refuse to return my notes. So be it. When I return, well, let's just say goodbye. I've had quite enough of you sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. If you attempt to escape, I shall have no choice but to kill you. And this time, Philip, you will stay dead forever. Now! Turn around! Walk forward! Walk forward! 
Turn left. Walk forward. Walk forward. Turn right. Walk forward. Turn left. Walk forward. Turn right. Walk forward. Turn left. Walk forward. Turn left. Walk forward. Walk forward. Turn right. Walk forward. Walk forward. Who is this evil man that would torture me so harshly? That mad doctor must be stopped. <clears throat> I must escape this place. But wait, this hand may just be small enough to slip through the shackle. <clears throat> get my other hand loose. Someone's lowering a key, maybe to unlock my shackle. But who is it? Who is helping me? There must be a way out of here! I must escape this place now!
That plant looks beautiful and dangerous. Hmm. There is no way through there. If only I could cut through the vines! Some sort of mausoleum. I wonder if the doctor has desecrated his own relatives in the name of his science. Very interesting. The doctor was released from Pasteur Institute some time ago, where I was schooled. That's why he looks so familiar. But he has aged so much. Could it have been him? Yes. He's been affecting my life for years and I didn't even know it. That madman will pay for what he has done. Why would the doctor have clippings of missing children? He must have had something to do with the death of my Gabrielle. What's this? This is... Oh my lord. This note. This handwriting looks familiar. I knew it. This note is in my handwriting. This is the same letter I wrote to the man who funded my research. It was the doctor. This man will pay for this. It was he who funded my research which led to the fatal explosion. My poor wife. She was innocent. She didn't have to die. But he must. Notes about my research on the electric protein cream. He based energy L on my research. My wife.
I must find him. He stole everything from me. My wife, my child, my work. The doctor must pay.
That fiend must be hiding in here somewhere. So, I see you have found your way home to the rest of the sick animals. Yes. I hope you finally decided to leave me to my work and not be a thorn in my side. That sick bastard. So confident he thinks he's my master. Ha! I should make him suffer as I have suffered. You destroyed my life! I destroyed your life. You're beneath contempt. It was my money that funded your research, you idiot! With my money, you created your electric protein cream formula! I wouldn't be too quick to point a finger, especially one that doesn't belong to you. You are brilliant, yes, but you are also a careless, selfish, irresponsible drunk, always blaming someone for something when the real problem is you. You're pathetic. He's right. I am all those things, a failure, a drunk, and a murderer. First my wife, then my daughter. I can't bear this any longer. I am truly mad. You should have stayed dead, child killer! You've interfered long enough! He is right. I do not deserve to live. You disgusting creature! Trapped! There must be a way out of here! Damn! It doesn't open! Ah! 
a mirror. I must see if the face I wear is my own. Harry, follow me. I know you are in there. My name is Sarah. Sarah Strauss. Come now, we must hurry. Those men, why are they after you? Sarah. Sarah? That name sounds familiar. I wonder if she is the same Sarah who's mentioned in that letter I found earlier. Go on. We have to hurry. What are you waiting for? What do I know about this woman? She tells me her name is Sarah, but where did she come from? How can someone so beautiful exist in such a terrible place? Come on! We have to hurry! What are you waiting for? The more I look at her, the more I am struck by her beauty. God, she must be repulsed by me. And yet, she helps me. We'll be safe here. Trust me. Those sounds we heard in the tunnels? I think I know what they are. You must be thirsty. Here, some cool water. I know who you are, Philip. And that you were hung for the murder of your daughter. bottles up there. But how can we get to them? <laughs> hmm. Looks old. Let's see how it tastes. Come, sit by me. Mmm, this wine is wonderful. Thank you. I know you must be wondering who I am. Let's see. My parents are wealthy, and... I was always, well, more of a tomboy. When my niece disappeared, I had to do something. Someone had to do something. What do you know about the secret of life? You see, my niece disappeared several weeks ago. Other children have turned up missing in surrounding villages. I believe they may be held captive, possibly here on the castle grounds. I have so much to tell her, but I am so ashamed. I sound like a beast. Ah! What is that hideous thing? 
so ugly. There, in the shadows, something is moving. Quickly, I need something to throw. Ah, a rock. Friend, like, like me, like, like you. you. Oh, please, Philip, make it go away, please. I think the children are somewhere in this castle. And if they are, Dr. Frankenstein will help me find them. I feel like I can trust her. Perhaps she can help. I must take Sarah to the mausoleum and show her that the doctor is a vile and evil man. And show her the truth. Philip, where are you taking me? Philip, where are you leading me? I've seen many parts of Victor's castle, but I've never seen this place. Hmm. Imagine being able to regenerate life. <laughs> the possibilities are incredible. The doctor could gain a great deal of respect with this work. To go, Philip. I must find the doctor. I need an explanation. Come on, Philip, this way. Philip, in here. Come on, Philip. Maybe we can escape up through here. Hurry! It seems as if the ground below us is moving. Hurry! There's something down there! I can feel the ladder swaying! Whatever's down there must be huge!
I can hardly hold on to the ladder. Oh God, Philip, hurry! It's almost upon us! Just a little bit further. Philip! Help! I'm stuck! I can't go any further! We're safe. That beast didn't get us. Philip, I'm going to find the doctor. I'll understand if you don't want to come. A note. Someone has been down here. Philip, what have you found? What is this place? Could the cargo be the missing children? Gabrielle could be one of them. My God, could it be? What is this? It's a bomb. With enough explosives to blow us all to kingdom come. I would be insane to try to disconnect it. I must find Dr. Frankenstein. Oh my god, Philip, what about the children? This bomb will destroy them all. We mustn't try to disable the bomb ourselves. It's too dangerous, Philip. We must find Dr. Frankenstein. He'll be able to help somehow. He must. God, I have no one to blame but myself. I am forever scarred, branded with the name of child murderer. The only world left to me is the world inside these castle walls. Dr. Frankenstein, I've found him. Sarah? You and Philip? My God, what are you doing here? My dear Sarah, while I've always enjoyed having you around, I 
can't have you coming and going as you please. She's been here before? She knows the doctor? Please, Victor. There's a bomb in the docking area. We must do something about it. Please. Philip, I'm sorry I wasn't honest with you. But I had my reasons for not telling you of my past with Victor. Listen, please. My niece is missing. I've been looking for her. And... Well, Victor, that bomb, it could blow up the children! Children? Why would there be children at the dock? Of course, you're right about an explosive device. I happen to be the one who put it there. You see, I have known for some time of Judge Rothenbush and Vladimir's nefarious business activities. They think I'm unaware of their landings and their meeting today. Well, they are quite mistaken! And today, I will finally be rid of that miserable judge. It's a pity that Vladimir has to die as well. I found his uh, talents for procuring illegal and hard-to-find material convenient. Unfortunately, he also has the ability to blackmail me, so I have to eliminate the problem before it can materialize, yes? In fact, it was Vladimir who provided you with spinal fluid for your electric protein cream experiments. Or have you forgotten, Philip? Have I forgotten? You bastard! In a matter of hours, when the ship arrives, I will set off the bomb, and that blackmailing weasel will be destroyed! <laughs> Victor, my God! You know Judge Rothenbush is my uncle? How could you murder him? What has happened to you? What have you become? You must stop this! You mustn't kill anyone, especially innocent children! And there are children, Victor. Believe me. The letter Philip found says as much. Was there any mention of children in this letter you found? No, there wasn't. Why? Because there aren't any children. This is my castle. No one comes or goes without my knowledge. Though Sarah did manage to sneak in. When I tell you there are no children, there are none! Don't you get it, Victor? The bomb is going to kill people. Real people! It's going to kill my uncle and it's going to kill the children! <laughs> I'm not getting through to you! You've become a monster! <sighs> the judge who condemned me to death is Sarah's uncle? What is this? Look, you don't have to get violent. I can see you're quite upset by this, and of course I'll help. We, we mustn't let any innocent children die. Perish the thought. Please remain here. I'll go deactivate that nasty bomb, and everyone will be happy. Perhaps a cocktail later. Yes? My God, did you really think I believed your story about the children? That I'd let you get in the way of my work? You're both idiots! The bomb will go off as planned. Nothing is going to change that. 
And if there are children and they are destroyed, we can always put them back together again. <laughs> now remain here. Do not move. Let me simply say that it would be very dangerous for you to leave this room. Oh, Philip, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I ever trusted that man. I don't... Philip! My God! It's happening! Down there! It's one of the children being led into the secret dock! We must get out of here. We must stop this somehow. But how can we escape? It's Gabrielle! She's alive! Maybe I could climb out that vent. There must be a way to retrieve that key. My fingers! Oh, they are not long enough! Yes! Now I've got it! It fits! Uh, oh, oh, I'm too large to fit through! I'm in the hall! <gasps> Victor has truly gone mad. He set a trap for us. Some kind of automatic gun that was triggered by my opening the door. He could have killed me. Why didn't it? Philip, it's that creature. It's dead. I don't believe this, but... It looks as if he's, he dropped in front of the gun to protect me. Oh, the bomb. We must hurry, Philip. There isn't much time. Poor dirt. Hurry, Philip, we must save the children. My God, is that what I think it is?
Oh, my Lord! Blood everywhere! You have to be all right, Gabrielle. You have to. Oh, Gabrielle. Dead. Wait a minute. The crystal. I could bring her back to life. We could be together again. Oh, but how could I even think of such a thing? <laughs> I must return to the lab tower. Gabrielle must be reborn. I think she's dead. I'm going for help. I must hurry. The storm will reach the height of its fury soon. I must be ready to harness its full force and bring Gabrielle back from the grave. Sleep, Gabrielle. Sleep. For soon you will awaken from the bad dream called death. I must try to release the kites. Must throw the switch to direct the energy so it's collected in the energy coil. doing? You'll never master my science.
Daddy. We're alive. I love you.